James Monroe Early Years James Monroe was born April 28, 1758, in Westmoreland County, Virginia. His parents were Spence and Elizabeth Monroe, and he had six siblings. James Monroe was taught at home until the age of 11, at which time he began attending Camp Belltown Academy. He attended that school until age 16. In 1774, James Monroe enrolled at the College of William and Mary. Before he was president, James Monroe dropped out of college in 1775 to serve as a soldier in the Continental Army. This makes him the last United States president who saw combat in the American Revolutionary War. From 1780 to 1783, James Monroe studied law under Thomas Jefferson. He passed the bar and practiced law in Fredericksburg, Virginia. In 1786, Monroe married Elizabeth Courtright. Together, they had three children named Eliza, James Spence, and Maria Hester. He was also elected to the Fourth Continental Congress in 1783, followed by the Fifth Continental Congress and the Sixth Continental Congress. In 1790, he was elected to the United States Senate. He served as the ambassador to France in 1794, at which time he negotiated the release of Thomas Paine, who was jailed for his opposition to the execution of Louis XVI. Monroe also arranged to get all Americans free who were being held in French prisons. He also served four terms as the governor of Virginia before he became president. Presidential Facts James Monroe was the fifth president of the United States of America. He served two terms from 1870 to 1825. Monroe was the last president who was also a founding father. In the election of 1816, he won 183 electoral votes out of 217. In the election of 1820, he won all of the electoral votes except for one which was cast for John Quincy Adams. Major Actions as President As President, James Monroe went on two national tours to build trust in the government. During his administration, five states entered the Union. They were Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, and Missouri. He is also credited with authoring the Monroe Doctrine. This was a policy of the United States under Monroe, which stated that any further efforts by European nations to colonize states in North or South America would be viewed as an act of aggression, and it would require intervention by the U.S. It also said that the United States would not interfere with internal concerns of European nations. The Monroe Doctrine is one of the longest standing foreign policies ever held by the United States government. Precedents The date of James Monroe's second inauguration fell on a Sunday. Instead of having the ceremony on a weekend, he chose to move it to the following Monday. This is a precedent that many presidents since him have followed. He was also the first to take the oath of office and deliver the inaugural address outdoors following his first election. James Monroe died on July 4, 1831, following John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. He was the third to die on Independence Day. He died of heart failure and tuberculosis. He is currently buried at the President's Circle at the Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. His tomb, the James Monroe Tomb, has been registered as a United States National Historic Landmark.